Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to make a Pikachu buttercream cake. This is a collaboration with another great caking channel, Zoe's Fancy Cakes. She's going to be whipping up a cute Pikachu cake topper and I know that you're going to love it. So head on over to her channel afterwards. I've added the links for you below. In the meantime, let's get started on making this adorable cake. Now the first thing that I needed to do to make this cute little cake was figure out what size cake I should be baking. So I printed out a cool picture of our Pikachu that I'm going to be using as a template. I printed it out twice and on this one I chopped his little ears off and then arranged them on a cake pan and figured out that an 8 inch would perfectly fit everything. The next thing we're going to do is cut our cake into layers. Cake, I'm going to go ahead and fill the cake now while I have it in the square shape and then I can use my template. Use your fingers to line up and just make sure that they're nice and even and then do your next layer. Place the bottom on top. I always like our base of the cake to be the new top. It just makes it really easy and it's much smoother and you get less crumbs in your finished product. Now when it comes to making these kind of shaped cakes and cutting them, I find it's easier to pop the cake into the fridge just for about 10 minutes or so, so it gets nice and firm. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a brand new version of our template. And either using a laminating machine or just some sticky tape, you want to coat both sides of this paper. So I've done the front, now I'm just going to turn it over and start applying some tape. And then all you need to do is cut around the lines. And now all we're going to do is chop off the ears. And arrange all of your pieces on the cake. I'm going to start by cutting out the head. Working your way carefully around corners. Just doing small cuts at a time. Once you've done the head, you can tackle the ears. So now we can start to see our Pikachu coming together. We need to know which ear is which. Line that up perfect. I've gotten myself a 14 inch round cake board. You can place it on a sheet cake or on a square cake board as well. But just remember that it does need to be fairly wide to fit in those ears. So placing a little bit of buttercream down, make some grooves to help it to set. I'm going to pick up the body first and then apply some frosting to the ears to help those to stick. Now we can start using a spatula and a scraper to apply a crumb coat of frosting to this cake. So start by working on the side of the cake and you're just applying a thin coat to lock in those crumbs. And now we're going to scrape it back. And then it's time to do a crumb coat on top. And now I'll pop this in the fridge for about 15 minutes to let it set up. Now with our cake back out of the fridge, we're ready to start decorating. So I have got my template out again because we're going to be using that again to cut out the shapes of the cheeks, the eyes and to give us a gauge on those ears, nose and mouth features. So I placed some of my yellow buttercream into a piping bag with a number 21. I have the same tip with some black buttercream as well. I also have some black fondant as well as some red. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cut out those features so that we know where to pipe around. And I find it makes it easier to know where they're meant to go if you place the main section down first and then slot the rest in. And give them a light press to the buttercream and that way they'll stay put. Now with the ears, I'm just going to cut out where the black is going to be and place those on as well. Now when I'm piping, I want everything to be pulling towards the centre. I'm not going to be doing puff balls that look like little stars. I'm going to be dragging them down a little bit, almost like a piped shell border. So 
So I'm going to start by squeezing right near the ear and then dragging it down. Squeeze and drag and then I can remove that. Same on this side. Now I'm just going to make my way down the ear. Squeezing, release your pressure as you drag towards you. Now I'm going to pull in towards the eyes. I'm going to use my craft knife just to score a line where the cheeks are. Now mark around the eye. Now remember we are going to be going over the eyes. We just want it to be pulling towards them is all. Center pulling down. Now we're going to pull in towards the cheeks. And now, right where the nose and mouth are, we're going to pull towards those. So we want to come from the bottom and start doing rows working up. Now for the sides of the cake, I'm going to squeeze and pull down and do a dollop at the end. It's basically like piping a shell border going downwards. And now switching to our black, we're just going to do some little stars for the ears. Now I'm going to roll out some red fondant. Uh, you can also use modelling chocolate if you prefer. And we're going to cut out the cheeks. Place our cheeks on there. And then taking a craft knife or an exacto knife, we're just going to trim them up. And you just want to let them set up on the counter for a few minutes till they get firm. In the meantime, we're going to work on the eyes. And I almost forgot we need to do a little bit of white for each eye. I'm going to roll a little ball and flatten it for the small part. And for the big white, I'm just going to freehand a little circle. Or you can cut out this part of the template. They look pretty good as they are. The first thing I'm going to place on is the cheeks. Just gently pat them down. And then our eyes. Adding the white just with a touch of water. Finally, I'm going to add a little nose. And lastly, I'm going to roll a little sausage for the mouth. And then I'm going to use my template as a guide for the mouth shape. And there you have it, guys. We have an awesome Pikachu cake. Remember to head on over and check out Zoe Fancy Cakes tutorial. She has a great Pikachu cake topper that I know you're going to love. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this lesson and subscribe to our channel for more videos.